Did you find my lipstick? If you can't hide it, feature it. Welcome to episode six of Next Top Upside Learn. Hi, I'm Helen. I'm Peter. I'm Valerie. From Caracas, Venezuela. San Francisco, California. Mexico City. Johannesburg, South Africa. Detroit. What up, yo? And I am. And I'm. And I'm. I'm the Next Top Upside Learn. I'm your host, Angelina of Blueprint DIY, where I teach you how to remake your clothes to be just as unique as you are. It's time to go all over the world and share the stories, the journeys, and the upcycles of other creative people. But there's a twist. This is a competition where each contestant gets one week to complete the ultimate upcycle challenge. You'll vote for the winner, and this season is all about okay. denim. Let's do this. So make sure you subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss an episode or the opportunity to vote to crown the next top upcycler. Last week's contestant was out there there from Caracas, Venezuela. I absolutely love watching her process as her piece morphed from just a top to a dress to a gorgeous romper in the end. If you missed her episode, definitely go back and watch it after this one. Today, we're back in North America to meet Valerie. Hi, I'm Valerie. I'm 44 years old. I'm from Colorado and I am the next top upcycler. I'm a mom of five kids. We're a blended family, a special needs family, and I have three kids that are ages four and under. Before I was a mama, I worked in theater for 14 years. I went to fashion design school. I got a degree in fashion design. I made costumes for aerial performers, roller derby, and other unique performers. <laughs> then I became a mom and things kind of halted with my sewing. My daughter, who has special needs, started having seizures about 15 months old. And later we found out she has Dravet syndrome. So my life um, completely changed and I couldn't do anything but take care of my, my daughter for that time period. So now I'm getting back into sewing. My children are a little bit older, except for the baby, <laughs> but it does allow me time to sew and make garments for me and my children and I. I absolutely love it. Being a, a special needs family um, with a daughter who is medically fragile, we had to isolate ourselves 100% and it was really challenging. So in that time I started sewing again. I found Angelina's channel and started sewing with other women and that helped me tremendously this last year. I started a YouTube channel this year, but then the pandemic hit and all of my friends and family came to me and asked me how to homeschool because we're homeschoolers. So I switched gears and started a YouTube channel on homeschooling. It's called Our Homeschool Castle. I teach people about curriculum, day in the life. I'm also starting to teach how to use art in your homeschooling, sewing, and different types of techniques of art to help kids combat big feelings. When I went through fashion design school, I didn't like the whole fast fashion world, and I decided to buy fabric and clothing secondhand and just cut it up and use that to make fashion for clients and costumes for clients. When I was a little kid, I was really into Barbie dolls and they had big hair and big fashion and I just loved them. So I started hand sewing fashion for my other dolls. I still collect Barbie today and I keep them on a shelf. I have them all over my sewing area. It's um, inspiration for me. So I get my inspiration from um, movies. I love vintage fashion. It's basically why I went into theater and costuming in the first place. I get inspiration from really big, elaborate costumes. I love the mixture of like a period piece and like really bright 60s fabric, <laughs> which some movies do that. That's what you can do in movies. It's like a whole new world that you can make up. So I go to a local thrift store to get my upcycle supplies. It's called The Ark. They're just in Colorado, um, but they give back to the community, specifically um, 
people with disabilities. We've actually even benefited from some of their programs. I love going there too because they have the most amazing <laughs> thrifted finds. My husband is my biggest supporter. He um, is really into fashion himself. He always applauds all the crazy stuff that I buy at the thrift store, <laughs> knowing that I'm just gonna cut it apart. Hi, Shane, thank you so much, I love you. Hi, Valerie, are you ready for the ultimate upcycle challenge? Yay! <laughs> so let's see what you're going to be upcycling. What are your before pieces? It's a bleach out tie-dye jeans which are a little bit stretchy. I think these are gonna be my main jeans. I have these. I have like blue roses, some kind of flower. And then that's why I went with blue and purple. Yeah, those ones are very vibrant. Yes. <laughs> and then these are purple, a dark blue, almost purple. I have no idea how many I'm gonna use, but <laughs> these are the ones that I'm starting out with. Okay. This is not the right color, but I wanted to use these pearl snaps maybe to snap the closure in the back. So oh, nice. we'll see. All right, so Valerie, what are you making it into? Like, what's your design idea? So I did sketch out an idea. I usually just let the pieces tell me what they want to be, but I have like this kind of nice. jean dress. The blue part is the jean. What I don't know which which is going to be which. Kind of like those 1930s style dresses, the really long lacy dresses. Then I may or may not do like a little jacket. This is basically like a leg of a pant that goes around the collar piece. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah, that's my idea. Cool. So what do you hope to have done by the time we meet on Wednesday? Well, I hope to have at least the bodice of the jeans and hopefully started on the skirt. Perfect. Are you ready to start upcycling? Yes, I have been dying all week. <laughs> all right, since you're ready, it's time to upcycle. On your mark, get set, go. I'm doing these two as the bodice. This is not how it's gonna be, but I like to put it on here to see all the colors together. Right colors into it. That's what I gotta do. The meat of the fabric is in the legs. So I'm just gonna cut the legs off and open them up. One thing in, in theater that I learned was if you can't hide it, feature it. <laughs> I'm trying to get as much done right now as I can before the kids come home. <laughs> because I know when they get here, it's gonna be mama time. I'm about to make lunch now and Wolf is yelling at his little sister because she is either looking at him or talking to him. Banana. Hi, banana. <laughs> banana. Did you find my lipstick? Apple. And my chocolate? Yeah. My mama is on fire. But if I do this here, it takes away from this shape here. So I'm taking a, a nursing break right now. Anytime I sit down, she thinks it's time to nurse. Oh, yay! <laughs> it fits all the way around. I gotta even out the waistline, but I like it. Good. A lot of the bodice last night. So now I'm debating whether or not I should use this placket or should it be a zipper? A placket is gonna, it's gonna gap. I'm gonna have to put snaps in between here so maybe it's not easier. Maybe I can find a zipper and do like an exposed zipper instead. Oh, baby. Your nose is cold. Is it cold outside? Now I just have to take all the fuzzies off of the zipper. But it's purple. It's gonna match. That's awesome. Okay. So I did put the zipper in the back. So maybe I'll take it in right here. It's kind of big right there. I have another visitor. Before I finish the bodice part, I'm gonna um, cut the panels for the skirt and see if I'm gonna have a fitted skirt 
or a pleated skirt. That's the only thing that I don't know. I already cut these purple and blue. So I'm gonna try and drape and see what it's gonna look like. So I think I'm going to just make sure each panel is the same on both sides. That was not easy. That took me several tries. And even so, I, the seams are really weird because they're pan legs. They're, some of them are bald at the bottom. So after watching these amazing upcycles, have you decided that you want to do some upcycles for yourself? Here's a few tips to get you started. For your first upcycle, find something in your wardrobe that you absolutely care nothing about or something super cheap from a local charity shop or thrift store. This way, you will not care about cutting it. That is one of the biggest obstacles for most upcyclers or most people who want to start upcycling is that they don't want to cut. So if you don't care about it or it's super cheap, that'll just make it a little bit easier for you. And I find that t-shirts are one of the easiest things to start upcycling. Number two, start at whatever level you are. So if you can't sew, do no sew projects. Don't feel bad about it. If you can sew or you're a beginner sewer, you can start there. But wherever you are, just start. I have a playlist here that I know is going to help you. It's no sew as well as beginner upcycle projects that are just amazing, but they're not going to be hard. So you can ease into that process and just build your confidence and get better and better and better. Number three, if you're scared of making mistakes, then try getting some support so that you can see that everyone, and I do mean everyone, makes just as many mistakes as you. I have a Facebook group with over 6,000 upcyclers who post their upcycles as well as their struggles. They're super supported and the link is in the description box below. And also please subscribe because this show belongs on TV. I believe it should be there. And we're also to 200K, and I know we can make it before the season finale. So hit that subscribe button and let's get back to the show. So tired this morning. <laughs> My son woke up, he's three. He woke up several times last night crying. I don't know what was going on. Oh, I can't even talk, I'm so tired. But my husband got up and made coffee early, that was nice. I don't know why, but I'm having a hard time Getting motivated today, I know why. It's because I didn't sleep very well. <laughs> so I'm thinking I will sew it just right at that hem stitch. One thing, it's really hard to fit yourself. <laughs> um, I have to keep guessing, taking it off, put it back on. Wow, I love it. Look at the bodice piece. I'm gonna put the ballet elastic here to keep this so it's not so like that, you know. And thanks so much to Angelina. I would have never really been able to do something like this. Being a mom, five kids, and a special needs kid means the world to me. And I hope to inspire some other moms and maybe some special needs moms to do some sewing therapy. Instead of it just being like this, it would have this here. Press it. I feel like now it looks more vintagey. So today is a Wednesday. We finally got a good night's sleep last night. I'm almost pretty much done with my garment, but I have all the finishing touches on it. I mean, like the finishing of the scene. I started working on like accessories, like a purse and a sweater. I want to make more stuff. It's better to have more stuff and then take it away if it doesn't work with it. Um, plus, I'm on a roll. I'm inspired. I really like the dress. I really love how it turned out. I'm about to make pancakes for the kids. Actually, crepes. My husband makes the pancakes. They refuse my pancakes. I took that dress that I had and these purple... I got these at the thrift store. They're purple. I mean, how lucky was that? Okay, so Valerie is one busy mama. Let's check in and see if she's still on fire. Hey, Valerie. <laughs> You're gonna laugh. I actually have my garment ready. <laughs> it's done? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Except for like the hand finishing part. I can finish garments in like two hours sometimes. I mean, it's just from experience, that's it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. On fire. But now I'm making accessories this time. <laughs> Hey, do, I'm on a roll. 
Yeah, <laughs> like go with it. By by the time I talk to you on Saturday, you're gonna be covered head to toe in denim. <laughs> I look like all my children in denim outfits. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. I'm so proud of you. Thank Let's you. see it. Let's see where you okay. are now. Well, done, but <laughs> the thing is too, because it's denim, I I'm, don't want to try it on too many okay. times because it'll stretch. The straps go right into the bodice here. Okay, you can see. It's just one big piece, but they're very wide. So they're very kind of 50s. Mm -hmm. I've got 50s vibe to them. And then the oh, back. Is that. So it's got the blue on the back and the purple in the front. Yeah. And the blue and the purple, like from, from where I'm sitting, I had to remember, I'm thinking back to myself like, oh yeah, that was jeans. I forgot. Uh -huh. So cool. Anyways. Yeah, so I just have to finish the inside. And then also this, of course, I'm going to do what we call ballet elastic. So you okay. put, so you do cross stitch, basically make your own casing with thread, and then you put the elastic through there okay. and pull it tight so it'll lay flat here. Okay. That's the busty problem. Then. <laughs> Which I obviously <laughs> don't have that problem. <laughs> oh, man. I made a belt to go with it because it's just kind of, it needs something extra here. It needs to be broken up, I guess is what I mean. Mm -hmm. So I think I picked up the blue. Yeah. Okay. It makes it look more vintagey too. Yeah. It just happened to have just the right amount that I cut off of those jeans. <laughs> so it's the purple on this side and the blue on this side. Oh, that's cool. So if you're just feeling more purple yeah. than blue one day, you can switch it over. I know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, maybe I'll just have it reversible. So that's my main garment. <laughs> and it is all jeans. Yeah. A hundred percent. And this is, let's see, four legs. Yeah. So this is the thigh part. I fold it in half and then the hem for it to be kind of like, <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I want it to be this tall or I could maybe do it like that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. But maybe this would just be like a, like a piece that snapped together right here Okay. or, you know, snapped together like here. Yeah. That's definitely like royalty. <laughs> yeah, I'm all in I'm all into collars, especially stand-up collars like that. Then I found these at the thrift store, those it's purple oh, plastic, wow. you know, handles. Yeah. I went there looking for purse handles because I see them all the time there. And it was purple. I was like, wow. But this was a dress. And then if I put stuff in it, it'll kind of bellow it out a little bit right. more. I mean, you're going to have like a, a 10 piece collection by the time I see you. On I was like, and what about my head? Do I need yeah. a hat? <laughs> that is awesome. Since you mostly have everything done, what do you hope to have accomplished? What, in addition, do you hope to have accomplished by a Saturday? So, all the finishing for sure on the dress. I mean, I like it because I like the inside to look nice too. I mean, all of it. <laughs> I want it all to be done. Okay, so you're going for scarf or collar, dress, purse, and sweater. Yeah. I, I'm, all, I'm all for it. You go for it. I mean, it's not like you're behind. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> Has there okay. ever been a time when you felt like I'm done with this upcycling thing or this sewing thing. Yeah. I mean, I did it for a living. I sewed like eight hours a day, 40 hours a week, you know, plus sometimes I got burnt out. My hands were killing me. I mean, you can imagine it was back, a lot of back killing you. Right. My eyes, I had to like practice, like looking far away. I couldn't, everything I was like this all the time. And I stopped sewing for quite some time even for myself. And it was sad because I really loved it, but it eventually came back. Having kids helped because I loved making kids clothes and I could make cute vintage kids clothes. It looks like you are well on your way to making something amazing. So I am super excited for you. Can we see your space? Thank you. This is my sewing area. So I have my faff here right now. And then I also have a Burnett 
Uh, that thing is 20 years old, maybe. And this one is probably about 18 years old. <laughs> wow, I've had them for a very long time. To me, they still seem new. I have two dress forms. I mean, this is from when I did aerial performers because okay. it's the one with the legs. Oh, cool. And yeah, it used to hang, but that broke. I mean, these are not the most expensive ones. These are kind of the inexpensive ones, so they break. I have this one which has like this little body thing on it and I patted it to make it bigger. Up there is the kitchen. Oh, okay. And then there is the living room. So everything's open so I could see everybody. That's how I get things done. That's a really cool setup. This is a living room size this is the perfect size for my exactly. area. Well, that is awesome. I am so glad to be able to see your space and um, yes. see the space behind all the awesome creations. So I will see you on Saturday. Okay. Thanks, Angelina. Bye. Bye. Yesterday was a really, really tough day. Today's Friday and I finished my garment on Wednesday or Tuesday night. I don't even remember. Thursday was just tough. I've been sewing pretty much every day but only when the kids have been like outside or preoccupied watching movies and but definitely emotions were high yesterday and it was chaos so I just took the whole day off I didn't I sewed something for my daughter Elsie um because she's been asking me for a Harlequin outfit. <laughs> and I had these pink and blue t-shirts, so we just cut them up and, and made her a top and shorts. I just did that yesterday and spent some time with her and, and that was nice, but I don't know what it is. The other kids lose it <laughs> when I give one child a little bit of attention. So now I'm gonna sew this belt purple on one side, blue on the other, and I flipped it over to look, and all my pins on one side were gone. My little baby was down here taking the pins out while I was spinning the other side. I really like it. Now I gotta finish my dress. Anyways, so I'm gonna turn this out, and I'm gonna, I searched all the other, the other seams. I do need to um, search off this extra piece here because I took it in in the back. Yeah, it's just like the top of the bodice and the straps. Maybe I can just put this lace as the casing instead of doing the cross stitch like belly elastic. So here's a little tip. When you cut little pieces that you're gonna use, pin them to a cork board. Otherwise you're gonna lose them. They're just gonna end up on the floor and you're gonna think it's scraps. Okay, now I'm gonna hand sew. I'm sitting in my comfortable chair, but I pinned the stretch lace on the inside and it's it's gonna work. I did the stretch lace too because the straps are stretchy, so it'll, it'll work out. I love hand sewing. I don't know about you, but I use a thimble. So here is, see how the top? That's perfect actually. It makes me so happy to see moms who make sure they treat themselves in the midst of taking care of their families. And Valerie has been a super mom through this whole journey. So let's see the dress that she treated herself with. But you guys are gonna be judging, so make sure you pay attention and subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Voting opens April 24th at blueprintdiy.com. All right, so let's see the final look. Hey, Valerie. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. All right, let's do your big reveal in three, two, one. <laughs> oh, the fit is amazing. Thank you. Yeah, I, I put love the it. I around here so it's kind of flat and not. Mm -hmm. you know, Yellowing out. Yeah, let's the see back. the back. Pretty. 
I love that the back is pretty much all blue and black, and then when you turn, you can see purple. Yeah, and that's why I did the blue here, so it wasn't too purple in the front. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. is super cute. I did this bag too. I think it goes pretty well. It has that kind of 50s cowgirl vibe to it. It wasn't too difficult. I just hand stitched it on there. Too difficult. It's too thick not to. That's pretty. And red and pink and red to match my boots last minute because I didn't have any other shoes to wear. <laughs> like, oh, I didn't completely finish this. It doesn't go with the pink and that's okay. Yeah, I think that was a good move. Mm -hmm. So how are you feeling? I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> I have not made myself anything for years. Aww. I usually sew for everybody else. And, and for a mom of five, that is absolutely music to my ears. Yes. I want to say thank you so much for letting me do this challenge. So did you have any challenges with finishing it? Because you were pretty much done on Wednesday. This belt took a lot longer than the dress itself, <laughs> which is crazy, but it's because it was such a little amount of fabric that I had and trying to make that work and lay flat because it's, you know, jeans are cut and, you know, on the grain, it wasn't really laying flat at first mm -hmm. and it was frustrating, but yeah, the, re the dress came together pretty easily. I was shocked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because like you never know, like with upcycling, you never yeah. know whether it's going to just go smoothly, which it does sometimes, or if it's just going to be like one of those things where you're going to have to put it together, take it apart, put it together, take it apart. Yeah. So yeah. your belt is actually from Wednesday, I think I remember it, you can reverse it, right? Right. Yeah. And my husband said he liked the purple side better, but I like the blue. It's okay. I, I mean, they both look good, I think. Yeah, they both look really good. The difference between the purple and the blue is with the blue side, it looks like a dress with a belt on. With the purple side, it looks like you have on a top and a skirt. Oh, it does, huh? I don't know why, but it just looks like yep. the purple is the band for a skirt because it continues oh, yeah. with the purple on the side. It really does. Yeah, I think that's why I liked the blue because it was a diff like an extra color in the front here and it did look like a belt but the good thing is that no matter which way you turn it i love that it gives it two different illusions you know it's like it's yeah. almost like a whole different outfit yeah i agree 100 percent. and i love how this turned out i didn't know how the strap into the bodice was gonna be mm -hmm. but it worked out really well yes that's an absolute great idea for um, people who have a bus. Oh, it's a Razorback. That's so pretty. It's like what I need to cover and hold up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was really you know, smart. A lot of clothes are like, not even low cut, but I'm just always spilling out and I just hate that so much. Yeah. I, I just want to wear this out today. My <laughs> husband took the kids to Granny's house and I'm like, come back, let's go out. That's awesome. I'm so happy for you and so proud of you finishing this. And you, if everybody yeah. doesn't know, Valerie's also in the Upcycle class and she did projects for the Upcycle class as well as this all in one week. So it's just an amazing testament to what us mothers can do. I know. So the last thing we need to find out is why everyone should vote for you, Valerie, as the next top upcycler. Because I feel like I transformed some plain old 90s jeans <laughs> into an awesome 50s style plus size dress while taking care of five kids, homeschooling. I just feel so proud of myself. <laughs> so let me know what you think in the comments. Are you team Valerie? I know that she's certainly showing out for all the busy moms out there. And I think that it's so easy to forget when your kids get older. It sure does make you sit back and appreciate the awesomeness of moms. So if you still can, definitely go tell your mom that you appreciate her. And I know my mom is watching right now. And mom, I definitely appreciate you for taking care of me and all the other kids in the neighborhood. And definitely make sure you share this video so everyone will know to come and vote for Valerie.
And definitely come back next week to see what the next contestant will do. And if you missed any episodes, they are right here for you to watch. And I have a ton of denim upcycles for you right there as well. So I will see you guys next week, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, for another premiere of Next Top Upcycler. All right, bye!